In this quick video, we'll explore some essential elements of Excel. Formula bar, the insert function icon, and the name box. Let's start with the formula bar. This is where the magic happens. You can edit your data or create powerful formulas directly in the formula bar. Click on this downhead arrow to expand the section. It's useful while working with a large formula. If you bring the cursor to the border, it becomes a double-headed arrow. Hence, you can expand the bar and collapse it in the same way. This is the insert function icon. You can apply various functions according to your requirements. You can search for function here or select a category. It shows all the necessary functions within this chosen category. There are two icons, check mark and cross. These are now inactive. When you click inside the formula bar, they become alive. You can accept or reject your changes with them. Next up, we have the name box. It's the little box up here. You might wonder what it does, but I'll talk about it a little later. With these three dots, you can increase or decrease the size of the formula bar and the name box. See these little boxes on your spreadsheet? Each one is a cell. You can click on a cell to select it. And that's where you can input and store your data like numbers, text or others. Now take a look at the rows and columns. Rows run horizontally and columns run vertically. The numbers on the left side represent the row headings and the letters on the top are the column headings. Combining them helps you locate the address or the reference of a cell. For example, F6 is in the F column and in the 6th row. Now take a look at the name box and it's showing F6 in it. Actually, it's like a GPS for you. You can quickly find the currently selected cell. You can quickly jump to any cell in your spreadsheet by typing the cell reference here. Let's type N17 and enter and see the magic. The cell is selected now. Speaking of navigation, you already saw that clicking on a cell is the easiest way. But did you know you can use the keyboard arrow keys to press the right arrow to move one cell to the right, the left arrow to the left, the up arrow to move up, the down arrow to move down. If you want to move to the beginning of a row, use the home key. If you hold down the control key and press the arrow keys, it will take you to the last cell in that direction. Let's check it with control and the right arrow key. It takes you to the column XFD, which is the last column in this worksheet. Now press Ctrl plus up key to go to the top cell in that column. And then Ctrl plus left arrow key to go to cell A1. Sometimes your data may be too big to fit the screen. No worries. Use the scroll bars on the right and bottom to move around your worksheet. Simple, right? You can also hold down the middle mouse button and drag it to scroll in any direction. It's super handy. Now time for a quick pop quiz. Comment down below with the address of a cell where the column is at the right of column Z and the row is 5. That's it for this video. Stay tuned to learn more about Excel.